team we're running with. Saber oh, Juggernaut. Saber Tooth Juggernaut. And Shodos for Normie Neck. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Ryu Akuma, Saber Tooth Juggernaut, let's go. Oh, and Where we're ready off to the start with the launcher. The famous Jump Fierce. Yes. Very good buttons by Saber Tooth. Incredibly good air normal. You know, James Chen notably um, had a lot to say about that normal on Game Facts. <laughs> he definitely does. This is like his most hated character. Tried oh, to go absolutely. for the reset there. Tried to go for the reset there um, to get the, the air throw. Yeah. I think he And that would have been that would have been a dead equipment as well. Definitely. Saber to right. three bars. Ooh, we're gonna get the oh, air. Oh got throw. it? We're gonna get a super? super? Oh, but we miss it. Alright. Every drop super Very... is just, you know, every drop super is just a, uh, an opportunity to reset, really. It is. It definitely is. That's the name of Marvel. And uh, Virgo actually takes the first game. Very convincing. You know, rush down Sabretooth is always hard to fight. No, for sure. Let's see some adjustments from Normie Nick. Because really, like, James, you know, James Chen said, all you need to do is, you know, land one jump pierce and go into your basic air throw combo. And, you yes. know, that's all you need to do to win. Yeah, definitely. Like, that's literally all you need, you know, and especially if you're in the corner, instead of really going for uh, the Berserker Claw Super, you can always just do uh, his Wild Fang X. And especially if you have three meters, you, you can get it three times. It's very devastating to see that happen. Oh, for sure. And we saw Normie Nick try to anti-air DP uh, Saber to uh, jumping heavy punch, but unfortunately, it got air blocked. It definitely did. So many Berserker claws coming from BAG Virgo. Oh. Oh, yeah, we got a DP trying to get Saber to stop jumping. But uh, will Saber to stop jumping? Who knows? Yeah, he. <laughs> And that's an air reset into the super, so that's gonna do so much damage. It's gonna kill! Oh man, Sabretooth. <laughs> that's what oh, Sabretooth does, just mauls you to death. If he gets that air throw, goes right into Berserker slash Super, and that's pretty much the game. Yeah. EAG Virgo takes it. Oh no, this oh, is uh, three out of five. Oh, this is three out of five, actually. First to three X and versus three. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, why not? More, more madness of this game. Always great to see. Ready. You know, more games are better. This game's awesome. Oh, instant! Just. Oh, not oh and now Juggernaut's on the scene. Yeah, Juggernaut quite considerably nerfed in this version, losing his uh, infinite. Yes, he... his jumping punch spikes straight down now. Yes, that, that's very, very, like, worse for wear for Juggernaut. Juggernaut can still just do a lot of damage, getting just one hit confirmed right into Super. But definitely the, the nerfs to his uh, jumping heavy punch definitely hurt him a lot in terms of uh, his, own, uh, his own game. So now you just have to pretty much just... Find your find your opening and then just go right for his super. Yeah. Okay. We're getting and some DPs from Normie Nick trying to keep that juggernaut out. But he can't keep juggernaut out forever, really. Oh no, look at the damage. Oh and the block Another DP, one. that's gonna be the game. Oh it's not! Juggernaut's out of here. Oh, here we go. Oh, went for super. But now it's gonna does be take three, the game. It is a 3 0. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Trying to maul to death. Here we go. Another set. Another uh, another saber tooth in sight. Alright. And we're seeing okay. uh, some of the zoning. Ooh, amazing thing. Trying to clip Cyclops on his legs. Okay, there we go. Got a air combo. Oh, he drops the infinite. Okay. That drop kick is so good. 
Uh, this is punish on the sleeper. He does, yes. Oh, and Ray Ray with the wave as well. Alright, we're bringing Rogue in now. Dive kicks. Rogue is really good in just applying a lot of air dash pressure. Um, not only with her dive kick, but just overall, just very, very quick. They get the hard knockdown. Tag right, saver Jinjin, but that's going to be a punish on the raw tag. Yeah. Alright. Getting that wave dash in. Alright, good punish by Rome. Chasing uh, Bill Pickle down in the air. Okay, dive kick pressure. Oh, good low block by Rome himself to evade that uh, that pseudo infinite by um, by Dill Pickle that you can do yeah. on Paul Cactus. We got Cyclops back in now. A very, very tight situation for Rome now, down to the last character. Let's see if Rome can make a bit of a comeback. And with Charlie, most likely, but this isn't. Oh. Super is so good. Being able to being able to special cancel from or super cancel from uh, standing fierce, which is that crystal beam into super, is very very powerful. For One sure. of Cyclops' better tools. All right, and Dill Pickle takes the first game. All right, seems like we're gonna stay with the same teams, I believe. Possibly, or Rome is picking Ken. Now, Ken, Ken is actually really, really, really not that good. But he has something that I think a lot of people don't know, and he has an unblockable loop in uh, in X Men vs. Street Fighter um, that is from a hard knockdown of his air fireball. Yeah. Not too sure if Rome knows about it, but it's definitely it's definitely a tool that Ken absolutely needs. Alright. Okay, getting some, some neutral, some rush down. Okay. Wow, the switch out from Dill Pickle. There we go, super. The super. Alright. What's up next? Ooh, that looked funky. Both of them were facing the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Okay, got the switch into right, raw tag. We're gonna get Ooh. punished on the raw tag as well. That was a good OTG by Dill Pickle. All right, Rogue is definitely chasing. Oh my God, the cross up there. DP and DP is not even a DP motion when Rogue uses it. It's literally just fireball motion now. After getting that kiss, yeah. Could have been a punish there. Good team super by Dill Pickle. We caught um, Rome uh, when jumping, and he was in between both Cyclops and Rogue. That causes uh, Ken to actually take the full hit of Cyclops. Yeah. Because of Rogue being the point character during the team super. And Dill Pickle does take the second game. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a rough position to be in, in any set, right? You're two zero down uh, against your opponent, so and and a character switch hasn't worked out. So, what do you do here, as Rome? Well, Rome actually decided to pick Cyclops, and that is a really good choice to fight Rogue. Um, uh, Cyclops will always be Cyclops, so obviously a mirror match on that. It really depends on how much you really know the character. But Cyclops' Crouch and Medium Kick is a really good tool against Rogue, Rogue's um, dive kicks. One of the better hitbox base normals in the entire game. And definitely be used offensively. You can also like uh, uh, cancel into his running tackle. Oh, and the you super do a whole just his effect. Yep. And we got the running tackle right there. Gets the combo, tries to reset. Okay, I think Rome won the super there. Good throw by Rome. Trying to keep him in the corner. Really good. Right. 
I'm gonna zone him out. Alright. Ooh. Oh, and the Optic Blast going the wrong way entirely. Probably could have been more off of that, but Might be off of this. Here. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely going to be Team Super. Bill Pickle takes takes another game, which leaves him 3 0. Pickle <laughs> moves on. Here we go. Oh, this is a Here this is a go. cheap this is a cheap team. <laughs> it is. It, right. it definitely is. Alright, Rouse Heart Magneto, what do you do? Oh, crashing light kick okay. as expected. You know, it is Magneto. Alright. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting those tri dashes in. Yep. Let's see if. Uh, oh, there we go. I uh, wanted to ROM, but did not get all of it. And I think we're about to go. Oh, we're not going to go into the infinite actually. Oh, we got a throw. He did a throw, but did not follow up. He actually just went back on the defensive. Yeah, and that's probably going to hurt him. Because now he's having to eat pressure from uh, Magneto. Shave Ice mm -hmm. tags into Wolverine. Who, you know, still has the ridiculous pressure because of a... Because of his crouch cancelable uh, standing media punch. Which he has in every game except MVC2 and onwards, I think. Yep. Yeah, and in, in this game, it's it's pretty powerful. Um, you can even use it as like a whole infinite in the corner. Um, as yeah. a juggle on standing. Um, but Wolverine overall is just meant to just constantly just rush you down with tons of dive kicks, you know, getting uh, a really simple infinite in the corner. You can even do infinite mid-screen. The character yeah. is really deadly. Yeah, it's just right. the one now. It's over. Let's see, what is Ryu? What is Chaotic Games going to do with this character, Ryu? I'm not seeing a lot of punishes here, but... Magneto is uh, back in. All right, let's see if uh, you know, Shave Ice can get the right hit with Magneto and potentially actually end the game here. Oh, getting those Tri Dashes in, Tri Dash Light. Very nice avoiding of the fireball there, but did not get all of it. Okay, we're getting another raw tag. Yeah. Getting super right into the infinite, but drops it. Ooh, okay. Or maybe, maybe not even. Maybe just. Uh, wow, we got an go overhead. Go. Oh, and we're just gonna mash super. That works. Now there's one more character left. What's next? Got a game. This really has to keep out. J Vice here, but. Wait. Oh no, what's happening? Is the control. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Shave by C is a character. Uh, Shave by C is a. <laughs> what exactly okay. happened? <laughs> I I don't know. Shave Ice just saw you know a controller disconnect and went nah game for me. Wow. That is maybe the most unfortunate way you can drop a game. Yes. That is really, really terrible to have that happen. And Cyclops was actually kind of up on life. He could have, he could have fought back. But yeah, for sure. You know, errors like that do happen. You know, with online games sometimes. Sometimes it could also be the the equipment used. It could be a whole bunch of different things. So. Well, let's see what Chaotic Games can do here. I mean, I respect that Shave I you know, took the game, right? No, so, <laughs> like, your, your controller is your responsibility. You gotta hold that. That's true. It's very true. All right. All right, and we're, we're seeing a lot, you know, maybe Chaotic Games is uh, feeling a bit disrespected because uh, we're, we're, we're not messing around here. Oh, and there's... Throw, but we miss. We mash out. Definitely mash out on that. Now we're switching in Wolverine to contend with Cyclops' jumping roundhouse. Building that meter, trying to make sure that he keeps the character out while once he gets a hit confirmed, goes right into super to get as much damage as possible. 
I think I think what's uh what's really hurting Chavez here is that he's actually getting a fair few opportunities, but not making the most out of it. Um, you know, he he's getting his hits sometimes, but really kind of going nowhere with it. Right. There needs to be a lot more like conversions from uh doing a lot of the moves airborne or even using dive kick. Because you know, with dive kick you can obviously cancel. Um, into Fierce or even Roundhouse, just to keep that pressure going. Yeah. He is trying to rush him down, though. I'm trying to get in, trying to get Cyclops to make a mistake. But, and we are getting a few mistakes here, but definitely missed opportunities as well. Alright, mm -hmm. Magneto's now in. Let's see if... Okay, air throw, what's next? Oh, but just misses the OTG. And they're just... A lot of flailing around, no one's getting the hit, but now Cyclops gets a hit, but the super gets blocked. Right. Oh, tried the ROM there. Okay, we're getting those tri-dashes. There we goes the ROM. Oh, we're getting the ROM. No, you missed the hit for That would have been a dead Magneto. We're going to see Alpha Cyclops. Okay, we are safe tagging in Wolverine, as well as Chaotic Ames tagging in Ryu. This is a... This is going down to time, and Kata Games has the life lead. If we can get one good hit from uh, Kata Games here, this should be quite over unless his controller dies. Again. But we don't want that to happen. Definitely don't want to see another like uh, dead controller in the middle of a tournament match. Yeah, and yeah, this is yeah. I think this is it for. Uh... Oh yeah, this that's right. Time over. Yeah. yeah. Chaotic Games did take a game back. You know, it's a redemption arc for him right here. Well, now it's tied one to one. But yeah, there's been a lot of a uh, lot of dropped opportunities to actually like go in for the kill. You know, um, especially with how strong the team of Magneto and Wolverine is. But is Shave Ice about to pick Sabretooth? Oh, is this a full Sabretooth tournament? Is this a let it's James Chen get upset tournament? <laughs> well, I, I hope James Chen isn't watching this because you know, he's, you know, you might see an update to that Game Facts article. <laughs> the 2024 update. Oh, Everyone's still picking Sabretooth. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so maddening. Like, if he actually does that, that oh, would, he gets I a would throw, but misses, misses, you know. The follow up off of Bro as well. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. Okay. It looked like he was going oh, for the there. We're getting, we're the getting these uh, tri jumps. We're getting like these repeated tri jumps, but they're with light kick. Um, which I'm not. You know. Which, you know, you can combo off of, you know, tri jump light kick with another tri jump light kick. Even with, you know, into a tri jump medium kick. But for tri jump pressure, it's preferable to go for medium kick less executionally demanding, even if it still is. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there we go. We are getting those medium kicks there. Maybe they heard you. Shea Vice is uh, stream sniping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Running away, but I don't think there's uh We're running away here, but we're running away with not much meter. Uh, sorry, not much. Oh, no not much super, help, I could say. Right, Sabertooth no sound mix, and we're just gonna. Yeah, you know what? I respect that we're picking Sabertooth just to match Jump Heavy Punch, because yeah, that's how you play this game. That's how you play this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're actually trying to fight back. Chaotic Games is definitely trying to fight back with Ryu. Okay, another three piece there. Oh, good air throw. Chaotic Games does need to go for like super when he gets those air throws, so he could get a maximized damage. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> All right. Super Lots trying super. to stop Sabretooth from advancing forward. Does, don't want him. Oh, gets the combo. Gets okay, the good super. from the super. And get a raw tag, oh, but Magneto, Magneto is gone. And this is going to be potentially, yeah, but it's going to be 2-1 two, two, for Chaotic Games. We just let Magneto die. Was Chaotic Games just... Was he, was he teabagging? Was he trying to... He's trying to put his opponent on notice. What is going on here? <laughs> I think I think Chaotic Games is kind of feeling himself. <laughs> what is going on? 
I mean, I, I respect it. I respect he it. I mean, one doesn't wanna, I mean, later, <laughs> he doesn't want to deal with the person that calls mutants homo superior. He does not want to deal with that. Great. Uh, oh, okay. Uh. Oh, then we missed the uh, we missed the uh, OTG. You know, off of that OTG, Magneto can quite literally end the game with a very easy infant, actually. Um, so it's very dangerous to actually get hit by him in any capacity. Because, yeah, some of his more stylish stuff is actually demanding, but his easy infinite is just jumping medium kick, standing heavy kick into uh, hyper grab. And you can't mash out of hyper grab. Right. Oh, well, he could get an OTG here. Misses it, though. Alright, we got uh, Ryu in. Okay. Okay. Oh, getting the wrong. Going for the... Yeah, yeah, but he went. He went for the uh, the jumping light kick after the standing heavy kick, uh, which on a lighter character like Ryu wouldn't work as well as just going for you know the jumping medium, the super jump medium kick into air dash down. Forward. Okay, we're trying to chase Cyclops now. Uh, but we're just missing. It. And again, it's, as I said, Shave Ice is actually getting these hits, but not making the most out of it. Right. But we have Sabretooth in now. Trying to just jump, trying to maul Ryu to death. We're going to be we're gonna be seeing a lot of uh, jumping heavy punch. Oh, wait, we did, oh he we got the it. launch. A regular air combo by Chaotic Games. Is that gonna be a punish? Be a punish. Oh, but we miss our punish. Alright, we got Magneto back in now. Oh, we just throw. throwing each other. Oh, into launch. Into air throw? Gets into a combo? Out. Oh, we mash out. Okay. Miss the OTG, but it's looking like Shave Ice might take this and make it 2 2. All Shave Ice has to do here is really just chill. But, you know, anything can happen. There is. Oh, but we get the. We get the team super, and Shave Ice makes it 2 2. That's our, that's our first game 5 of the tournament, I think. It is. It definitely is. And it's, it's insane. A lot of this. A lot of what's going on is a, a, a bit of a scramble, but overall, like, Shaved Ice is proving that the more matches he's getting in, the more, like, he's actually trying to make sure his conversion <laughs> options uh, do come out. And, you know, with also playing this game, you are tri-dashing with three buttons instead of two. So there is it some is type though. of a difficult, difficult curve, um, especially if you're not used to doing it, but overall, he is getting it. Wait, look at this! Okay! Okay. I I think like if oh. you're not too confident. Oh, went in, for the you know, reset. Yeah. I think if you're not too confident in you know your ROM execution as a Magneto, there's no shame in just going for hyper grab loops eventually. Really, it's simple and it gets the character stunned. Yes, right, it does. It definitely. It definitely does. It's one of Magneto's best tools, best infinites in this, in this game. But it seems like Shave Ice just really wants to showcase that he can actually do a lot of the harder Magneto techniques. Yeah. There we go, Sabertooth doing what Sabertooth does. Jumping heavy punch. Oh man. And you know, we're, we're just trying to get in with this, with this uh, character. That might be, we're close to a dead Sabertooth. Okay, good wow, Sabertooth off. still lives. I'm, yeah. Got right. Magneto safely. Now, now Magneto's gonna try to just pressure Ryu as much as he possibly can. He's gonna have to keep chasing him down. Okay, good air throw. Well, we get a mashup. Flash. 
Yeah. Well, the Shave Eye Spear has to make the most out of this time so Sabretooth can actually heal up, because all of his games have been getting close to time. We spend some meter, Sabretooth is back in. Unsure if that's what Shave Ice wanted, but. We're, we're gonna see if we need a super here. Alright. Yu's definitely trying to fight uh, Sabretooth in the air and definitely getting out a lot of the hits, too. Okay, we're getting another super getting here. Some chip. Getting some chip in the mix. Now, Shave Ice is in a position where he has to get a hit here. Oh, we get a no rock tag out. And that's going to be a super. This is dangerous for both players now. One touch from either of these players is going to end this game and this set. That's a punish. And that was a good punish by Chaotic Games. You know, I think Chaos game, Chaotic Games is going to run. Oh, Mine just went right into super. Got the third game. Oh, he's dashing. That's what he was doing. He wasn't. He wasn't teabagging. He was. He was wave dashing. This and match is actually gonna be. This, this match is gonna be very interesting. Seeing that uh, Juggernaut is on Moon Master's team, you know, and as well as Chaotic Games using Ryu, but we are getting some air blade kicks from Charlie from Moon, Moon Master. You know, really good yeah. pressure tool. You know, trying to chase Cyclops. You know, and it's so, it's so good because, like, you know, on recovery, you can just still throw out another normal. You can even cross up your opponent. Uh, I think he wanted a super there, but actually missed it. Got only uh, Ford Pierce. Moon, Moon Master has history with, with, with fighting games in general. Uh, you know, he's played so many games, including other Marvel games. Uh, so it's interesting to see him back on Marvel with this collection. He always, he always plays some weirder characters, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, here we go. See, and we have the hit confirmed. That's a lot of damage. Did not get the full Next damage. Kills. In some cases, when Juggernaut actually does hit you with that standing fierce and goes right into head crush, he can actually get <clears throat> a full seven to eight hits. But he also yeah. gets it here, too. That's another thing that? I... Oh, here we go. Oh, we got loops. All that All right. damage. One more time. Oh, sh oh shoot. Oh, I gotta watch oh, this. Okay, good super. Yeah, very good confirm from the uh, game. Another one. Juggernaut does have to get out of there. If he gets one hit confirm, it's over. Okay, very nice uh, um, alpha counter. Yeah, just, yeah, he didn't go out unscathed, but it's better than having to lose uh, Juggernaut here. Another throw by Moo Master. Okay, got Ryu in the corner. Super. Yeah. And Moo Master takes the first sorry. game. I'm so sorry about that. Really, really good. Really good confirm. Really good confirm. Very typical of Charlie. You can even just uh, continue the combo, get an extension into launch, and go nuts. Either if you want to do an infinite combo or if you want to do air blade loops, you do a lot of stuff uh, off of that super alone. Give us a second, guys. All right, we're back. Okay, we're getting overhead. Ooh, the dash up into the throw. Combos. Oh, he tried to go for the air blade kick loop. Are right, we gonna throw it into the infinite? Oh no, we're just gonna go for air blade loops. All right, so Ryu is in. Are we chasing him down? This is a lot more uh, dominant than the uh, last game. For sure. Good block by Charlie. Good block by Moon Master. Again, the air blade kicks. Like when you do it, as soon as you're in recovery, you get another action. And it allows you to actually either block or press another button. Really, really good consistent character. Pretty high tier in my opinion. You know, probably one of the better high tier characters next to Gambit. Right. They're not chasing. Trying to snipe you from the air. Oh, that was a. Uh, 
It looks like a punish. Getting another super. Yeah, it's really confirmed. We might be losing Juggernaut. And we lost Juggernaut. But incoming. We could do another buddy. super. Oh, you just straight up killed it. Okay, that was a good super. He can dash up. Okay, we'll go one. for another Sonic Blade super. One touch from Moon Master here definitely kills. And I think we might be getting that touch the way uh, Moon Master is playing. And we might make it a. Yep, yeah, when we make it a 2 up. Chaotic Games on the back foot here. Very smart play by Moon Master. Like Charlie in general is just a really, really good, like high, high tier character. Once again, like great damage, air blade kick, Sonic Blade Super. Like a lot of that stuff is just the pressure, the infinites as well. The pressure is just insane for this character. Definitely and the fact can fight he's a lot of the top tier. Yeah, the fact he's unchanged in this version is incredibly scary as well. Yes. I feel like he deserves to stay the way he is. Oh, for sure. All right, we're getting some air combos. Mm, tried to go for the ground infinite, the, the speed bag, as a lot of people like to call it. Yeah. Yeah, chasing well, Moon Master, having, you know, for the first time, actually having to chase chaotic games around. Good alpha counter. All right. Oh, big hit. Go for nothing more. Combo there. Oh, in the floor break. Juggernaut having to uh, kind of chase around, which is not his. Uh, it's not his strong suit having to chase other characters around. He is slow. We gonna see super. No super. Wow, he went for that. That jump was actually really, really good, and really could have set up for some sort of mix. Uh, to actually uh, punish Cyclops. Okay, good. Some assault kick. Punish the super. Oh, misses the uh, confirmed though. And another good alpha counter for Moon Master. Oh, and we're just gonna mash super. All right. Good throw. Good throw from mm -hmm. oh. oh, into the infinite? Oh, but no, he you drops it. I think he wanted, I think Moon Master wanted a reset there. Wanted a throw reset. Wow, just wow. ran right Ooh. into that. Ran right into that. That throw. was from so far away. And Moon Master I don't... makes it 3-0. I don't know if that was an error. Like, I I don't know if that dash was like an error. See what her Wolverine and her Cammy can do. Playtime. Let's go. I mean, we, we, I mean, I've seen her Cammy before. Right, you so, did mention that. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll see it more in action, I think. Here. All right, that was a good dash. So, are we gonna get some? Uh, some uh, couch cancels from Storm Queen and Wolverine. I think so. I mean, Storm Queen is playing incredible neutral right now, just controlling the space really well. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's a combo set here. Yep, it's good reset. Gets the kill on Magneto. Ooh, nice. Good throw. That was a good crouch cancel into. Uh, into the throw. This is looking incredibly dominant from Storm King, to be honest. Wolverine is just... It's its insane how they just never nerfed anything of his in uh, this version. Yeah, so he is just the best character. And now we're seeing some of the cami uh, here as well. Okay. Good OTG cannon drills. Uh, she's doing the uh, the the super jump, uh, the small super jumps. That's a thing for characters that have double jumps can actually do. Yeah. Tried to get the launch there, but got the wrong normal to come out. Good drill thought of snipe uh, Cami jumping there. 
another throw Bro. sealed the game. Very convincing, convincing win by Storm Queen. Oh, for sure. And you know, oh, Storm Queen definitely... taking game one, very dominant. Shave Ice has to make an adaption here. Absolutely. And we'll see if the character switch happens. I think we might get a, uh, we might get Magneto and I don't know Sabretooth again, or we might see Magneto Wolverine. Sabretooth would be an interesting pick, considering that uh, the team of Wolverine and Cami are two small characters. So, like in a lot of ways, uh, this team that Storm Queen is playing can actually beat out Sabretooth clean. Later. Let's go. Ready. Yeah. Oh, we went for it. Tried to actually get the crouch cancel to go into another dash. I guess the oh, combo. And we, oh, we got oh. the infinite. Okay, here it is. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh, but we dropped the combo. Yeah, we but... dropped the drop can the crouch cancel. The medium punch drop cancels. Uh, uh. Look at this. We're in a we're in a combo video right now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, tech rolls out of the uh the crouch heavy kick. No EG is for shave ice. Very nice. And as you can see, with Wolverine doing his uh, his air roundhouse to finish the combo, to finish the magic series, um, it still hits towards the wall. So still yeah, yeah. one of the only characters that, again, can go into infinite Dead bodies? Um, very, very easily. Try to catch uh, Shave Ice on reaction with the uh, super. Trying to yeah. test his reaction. Let's see if we can get... No. Now that we know that Storm Queen definitely has the execution, this oh, is yes. bad. Storm Queen can get one hit and end the game here. Yep, caught the back dash. Really good read by Storm Queen. Such a strong player. Very, very sure. strong. This Up two games to zero. This is dominance. And again, you know, it's, it might be wishful thinking, but, you know, Shave Ice could maybe, uh, maybe adapt. Maybe, a, I think, I think we're here for the long haul, though. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be, uh, maybe the Wolfram. Oh, yeah. We're here for the long haul. He has to keep up with the pressure of doing uh, his tri dash medium kick. It's like that catches uh, Swan Queen a lot um, in the matches that they've had so far. Um, yeah. But, and stays right on him. They won't even need to actually have the button hit, and Wolverine just stays on, on set Shave Ice. Yeah. Nope, building that meter. Try to go for a. Uh... Maybe try to beat something out with that super. All right, air combo time. C and B. Mm -hmm. I'll Drops the crouch yeah. cancel. But definitely, we're definitely uh, definitely seeing right. a lot more now, and seeing a lot of the strengths that Wolverine does have, and it's really how dangerous it is to actually get hit. By. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, bringing in Cammy. Interesting choice, but I mean, eh, well, Cammy deserves some love. Oh, definitely. Oh, uh, did not get the full punish off of that missed uh, cannon spike. Okay, got got another so Oh, instant throw. Some pressure. And I mean, this is X reverse Street Fighter. Anything can happen. Magneto could get one hit here. You know, you can never uh, count anyone out, but oh, Magneto's gone now. You're gonna see a dead body combo? Alright, miss a guard break. I think Storm Queen was actually going for an unblockable there. Unblockables do still exist in version 3, and Cammy yeah. is definitely one of the characters that can do it. Ironically, um, Wolverine is actually one of the few characters. Uh, in this game that will almost 100% of the time get hit by an unblockable. But yeah. Storm Queen, regardless of not getting that, still takes it. Uh, these guys are still playing the same teams that they played previously. 
Virgo with Sabretooth and Juggernaut, Dill Pickle, using Cyclops and Rogue. Yeah. Virgo, One team Virgo overall, yeah, Virgo overall is known for having really good fundamentals, just like that. Read the read the throw that Dill Pickle was trying to do and went right into uh, a jump to actually get like a full proper punish. You know, Virgo's got a team of jumping heavy punches and ain't no one want to stop him, I guess. And a lot of the damage that, you know, Sabretooth did off of really, honestly, quite simple combos as well. Really threatening character. Mm-hmm. All right, good punish by Virgo. Speaking of damage, we might get a uh, four break soon. All right, trying to keep Sabretooth off. Wow, I think that was a really random switch. I don't think uh, Virgo wanted uh, Juggernaut. Could be wrong. I don't think so. All it takes is just one hit. Well, okay, two hits. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, and that's going to be I a punish. I don't want that Juggernaut. I don't think he wanted that. Well, he blocked just in time. If it was the Mega Optic Blast, I think that would have punished him. Yeah. These techs are really Oh, that might hit. Yes, really it good. does. It really did hit. Yep, caught a good punish after taking the... After absorbing that hit. Yeah. Oh, this Which, might be super. Yep, here we go. Which, yeah, for, for context. Uh, not. For, oh my god. Catching the... Catching the roll. Yep. Yeah, the unstoppable. Context, Juggernaut has uh, Juggernaut has one uh, armored attack. He can he can absorb one attack, and then the second hit will uh, will do hit stun towards him. Yes. And yeah, Juggernaut can definitely abuse that. Quite a bit. Sorry, you were you were saying. Just in general, like, uh, it's just the, the fundamental uh, knowledge that Virgo has when it comes to playing this team and playing against players um, of high caliber. Um, really just, he, he really can snuff out, like, a lot of stuff to actually get the proper punish. Um, and, you know, with this team, this team is just meant to just, again, like, constantly be in your face. Chicken blocking the... Uh... Jumping heavy punch, jumping heavy kick string. Yes, you you definitely have to chicken block. Uh, you, you have to chicken block Saber too. All he's gonna do, he's the one trick pony of X Men versus Street Fighter. Yeah. Oh, and we're gonna get an infinite, infinite from Dill Pickle. Uh 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 uh. All right. Are we gonna get a kill here? I think we might. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely are gonna get a kill. You gotta get rid of this character. Yeah. You have to. In the name of James Chen, you gotta get rid of this character. Oh. And, okay, we have another infinite. Uh-uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna finish the job? Oh. No, we're not! Oh, oh, and did not, oh, this did is not, not get the super. Yep, that was a really, really insane unorthodox punish by Dill Pickle. Again, it's like when the character is in between two characters, they will get hit by the second super. Yeah. <clears throat> Amazing one to one. Bill Pickle answering back with Wolverine Chun Li. Which yeah, you mentioned smaller characters can definitely uh, mess Sabretooth up quite a bit in the uh, previous set so between Storm Queen and uh, Shabus, or not? Yeah, the previous set. Right. Yeah. The again, like the main thing is that uh, it's when he, he's doing fierce the fierce is still a little bit too high so um the, at most you can get a trade but you would rather want to trade than saber to get in a clean hit but here you see uh virgo actually switching the geek very uh very unorthodox pick to be honest against characters like wolverine um yeah but he has uh, he has the uh lariat of it. So. he does all he really needs is just one touch yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got okay, one, Larry. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, I think he wanted to go for the jab version. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, he's dropping. Actually, I, th I think we should probably bring it up right now, but 
you know, Chun Li in her alpha costume uh, is actually different than Chun Li in her uh, regular costume. Um, alpha Chun Li is better in X vs Street Fighter because of the jumping gears being better. Yes, it does have a uh, faster recovery compared to um, regular Chun Li. Yeah. So if you ever want to pick Chun Li, um, if, you're, if, you're, if you ever pick, want to pick Chun Li, you hold start and you pick her, and um, you'll get the better version of Chun Li. Okay, good push block. Trying to keep Saber Tooth in the corner, trying to uh, stop him from advancing and get a punish. Okay, getting some double jumps there. Okay, good <laughs> punish by Dill Pickle. Gets rid of Saber Tooth. Gets rid of probably the biggest problem in this match. Well, you know, not the, the the biggest problem, you know, against uh, for Dill Pickle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got the infinite. Ooh, and we're getting the infinite. Oh no. Yeah, that should kill. And you know, we're we're, we're seeing that really strong, you know, lightning like super. I mean, you mash, you do a lot of damage. That's still really strong in this game, but there is a major difference, and it's that in this game, that super can be punted. Uh, you know. Before, you had to do a uh, weird push block um, punish on the super, but in this version, it's punishable normally because it has a hurt box on recovery. Yes, it does. Like, uh, they had to... It, it, she had too much freedom. Like, literally, if you, if you were able to still do that, like, as I mentioned earlier, where you could hold a button and then hold a charge That's after the end ready. of your super, or just in general, you can't actually do that. So it still gives, it still makes it her turn. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. We're back with Sabretooth now. Fair Girl decided to switch back to, uh, I'm sorry, not Sabretooth, we're back with Juggernaut. Yeah. Fair Girl decided Saber to- Sabretooth's uh, always been there. Yeah. Needs to have, needs to have that power. It needs to just get that one hit and go right into Super. Yeah. Does not want to be oppressed by Chung Li or Wolverine. I mean, as we mentioned, you know, the the James Chen most loved button, jumping heavy <laughs> button. We're seeing a lot of it. Like, Saber is going to be in the air. This is probably going to lead into an infinite, and it does. Let's see if Bill Pickle keeps uh, keeps it up. Huh? Okay. Risa? Wow. Oh, and then okay, we're calling Chung Li in. Oh, you know what? This reminds me. I hope we get to see the jumping medium kick infinite. The the jumping down medium oh, kick. Oh right, the, yeah. If we actually get that, oh man, that's gonna be such a highlight. That's gonna be that's definitely gonna be a highlight. Ooh, that could have been a crazy punish. Dill pickle, please, if you can hear us. Let's get <laughs> let's get Juggernaut flying. <laughs> <laughs> your, 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 bi your biasness is showing there. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I just no, see, no, I just it's see, fine. I just want to see cheap shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fine. That's that's his game. It's all about cheap shit. And we're just, you know, we're, we're running away. Huh? Oh, wow, I'm actually shocked that Dilk will use that move. Okay. Ooh, the air he throw read... from Dilk? Yeah, he read uh, Virgo trying to go for the throw, to which he uh, reversed it right back on him. Oh, what what's gonna happen? Uh, I think I think he tried to go for it. I think he, he tried, tried to go he for tried. it. I, you know what? I respect that he's trying. He's actually going for S combo much now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, into the chip seam, right? And that's going to be a 3-1 for uh, Dill Pickle. Very dominant last game, but overall, overall, you know, really good side is hatred beyond expectations. Yeah. So if you guys, if you guys are Saber 2 players, you know, don't, don't attack James Chen. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But being a Saber 2 player, you see him online, play him. Play Saber 2. Play, play against him. All right, so this match here, we are in winners' finals. Dill Pickle versus Moon Master. Moon Master yeah. with that Charlie Juggernaut. 
dual pickle, of course, picking Cyclops and Rogue. Yeah, so this is actually going to be a really good one, too, because I definitely want to see the um, the zoning tools as well as the uh, the the neutral uh, that Moon Master does, clashing with uh, the combo prowess of dual pickle. I think, it, I think this is a very important set, too, because this is winner's mm -hmm. final. It is. So whoever, whoever wins this is on their way to Grams and very comfortable with it. So, right. someone's gonna I believe this is still there. going to be 3 out of 5 as well, so... Yeah, 3 out of 5 the end. Right. Good tech nice. from uh, Dale Pickle. Oh, well, they're waiting it out, seeing who wants to press a button first. Very uh, nice, nice tag. Nice, nice tag by Moon Master. Really red Rogue trying to go in for that kiss. Really wanted some sugar. Probably said no. I Hold this it. crimson gem of Sidorak. Good block. That block still happened only because Rogue was already in block animation, so she wasn't going yeah. to be hit by an unblock. Super. Max yeah, gonna damage. Do again. Ooh, and absorbs oh, the hit, goes into throw. Okay. Ooh, good hit. Oh, wow. Yeah, the absorb not absorbed the hit and was still able to block. Oh, and big throw. All right. What's next? All right. Could be big. Oh, this oh. might be game. I think it's game. It oh, baby. Moon Master taking it 1 0 over Dale Pickle with the high damage Juggernaut Super. Very amazing. That, that character, when he has meter, you gotta watch out. You gotta run away. You pick your spots in terms of actually attacking him. If he catches you with that low, he catches you with a standing fierce, super. He catches you with a standing medium punch, super. Gas jab, super. All you're gonna see. But Dill Pickle switches. Chun Li Saber Tooth. And the Saber Tooth pick is very interesting because Saber Tooth literally just like it he he just makes Juggernaut just block forever. All Saber Tooth has to do is just get that one hit and just go right into the infinite. Yeah. And you know, of course we have Chun Li who, as we mentioned, has the uh, has the Heston infinite. We could, oh, oh, what just happened? Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, Corner weirdness. Okay, super. He decided not to go for the infinite, knowing that he was going to kill Juggernaut. Yeah. So, use the meter for that just to get him out of there. Right, jumping every punch. Just press that shit. Just a complete change of momentum now that we're seeing different characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. One launcher is going to take the game. Oh, will we get the reversal air throw? All right, pressing with that super. Push Dashing in. Good throw. Good Missed throw. the launch just a little too far to get the launch and go right into the infinite combo. Right, that's not going to be. Oh, but Chung Lee stays in though. Wow. Played it safe, actually. Dill Pickle definitely played that last sequence very safe instead of just going for like a regular uh, normal jump into dash and to a hit to actually like uh, get the kill. He decided to um, literally just uh, play it much more safe, much more strategic, and just getting the throw just so he can get the win. Yeah. Really solid stuff. So we're definitely staying with the same team. But I believe Juggernaut is starting first this time. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting to see you know someone who's uh, quite meter reliant actually be put on point. Yeah, I I agree with that. Um, it's like it's never really kind of like that. It's at least in version three. Um, the old Juggernaut can still do stuff, um, but it's just a bit more harder for him, as you can see with that jumping fierce, that jumping fierce. Knock the knock Chung Li down instead of uh, um, to the wall. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my God. Wow. Okay, that was funky. 
the hurt box on Juggernaut so big. Both thick? Because he's so big. And you need to get right. a punish here. Punish? Yeah. Oh, she is dead? <laughs> <laughs> She's dead! <laughs> She's dead! <laughs> Why'd she lose that much? Yo, Juggernaut is so cheap. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the chase is going. The chase is on. Oh, we're getting so many launchers, but. Bro? Alright, super. Yeah, dead. yeah, that's gonna be a. No, but we missed it. too early. Oh. oh, no. Super. No, super. Oh, no. All right. I mean, if um, if Moon Master loses Charlie here, it's not the worst position in the world because Moon Master's, you know, going in with Charlie, but has two bars to spend, which is more than enough to kill Saber here. <clears throat> there we go. Right. One bar, but you know, we're about to get it back. Good blocks. Good air throw. Oh, but good throw from uh, Guild Pickle. Alright. Oh, we try to go yep. for it. Yep, trying to maul him. Oh, okay. Good air throw into the super, and that's gonna be the game for Guild Pickle. Going up 2 1 against Blue Master. Amazing Blue patience, solid. I think. I think amazing patience, you know, in a situation where, honestly, a lot of people would have cracked and lost the game. That was it's funny because I was I was thinking that we were going to see at least a chip kill by Moon Master um, yeah. when Sabertooth had such low health, but he opted to like play the match out, um, and I think that inevitably <laughs> led to uh, him losing the match there. Yeah. And He's I just think chasing Chung Lee down. Moon Master sticking with Juggernaut uh, on point. I think that's they've been working out for him. Uh, slightly more than Charlie on point, weirdly enough. But then again, I think both characters are quite reliant on their meter a little bit. Charlie not. Uh, Charlie definitely less than Juggernaut though. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it works out for Charlie. Like in terms of just. Uh, getting uh, corner carry as well as um, uh, stun rate, um, whereas with Juggernaut it is power and whatnot, but Juggernaut definitely needs to be more reliant on it compared to Charlie. Charlie, yeah. <clears throat> wow, and got the com got the full combo. Oh, oh wait, he did oh, it, it a hit. bit too early. Yeah, so it when hit when you have that effect happen, it's almost similar to uh, the way Weapon X works. If Weapon X is uh, hit a bit, if the, the hitbox is a bit too high, um, where it will actually stop, and you can actually go into another combo. Yeah. It's pretty common for uh, both uh, Wolverine and Saber Two. Yeah. yeah, we we could have been we could have seen uh, we could have seen Delta. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh wow, that oh saved Dill Pickle. That saved him so much. Alright, another air throw. Oh my god, is this super turbo? What what the hell are these throw <laughs> damages? <laughs> I love it. I love this game. Right, Nash super. <laughs> I mean I love this game. Oh my god. GG's that was a that was a really good set. As a result of connection issues, we have moved on to Wizards Finals, which is Virgo versus Moon Master. Moon Master, Charlie Juggernaut, Virgo, uh, Juggernaut Sabretooth, maybe a few other characters, who knows? Let's go! Right. Oh. I think well, both these players have pretty similar playstyles. More uh, fundamentally focused you know, compared to Dil Dil Pickle's uh, execution. Yeah, I agree. Like, definitely they have both the fundamental knowledge of the characters while uh, the juice. You know, it's all a matter of, like, you know, who gets the first throw, who gets the first hit. I mean, that is the name of the game overall, but I feel like it's more prominent with these two characters because of uh, Charlie's high damage and, of course, 
Saber Tooth just getting one grab and, into Super. And I mean, then you have one. Oh, you here have we go. One. Good OT. Oh my god. Okay. Super? Oh, here we go. No, no, no. Not this matchup. Not this matchup. <laughs> oh no. You're yes. about to see it. God, Godzilla versus Kong. Oh, we get in the infinite? Ah, uh, he drops it. Well, we could be getting the infinite. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Got a Charlie screen. screen. Try to keep the rhythm up. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, good flash kick. Five new master. Ooh. Wow, oh, what a good throw. throw! Very good air. All right. And all right. Uh, I think that. Mm. Oh, the air, throw. air throws from. The air throws in this game in particular have been ridiculous. It's funny because you can actually punish uh, Juggernaut's air throw from uh, from that low to the ground too. So if Juggernaut is throwing you like that low, you can literally roll and punish him and actually yeah. take your turn back. It's so hilarious. Yeah. So your master is up one game. We have Virgo who is considering Maybe considering what to do. Oh! Oh, we got Bison. Here oh, we go. Shit. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right. All right. So when Virgo plays this character, he is literally going to just make you work to, to catch him. Like literally make you work. I, th I think, and this... I think uh, we're about to see some of the lamest play on the planet. Not only that, but you're also going to see a lot of good hit confirms into Super. Like, Virgo is known for having good hit confirms for MIC. Oh, did not get it. It was a little too far. Into Super? That's going to do a lot of damage? Oh, maybe not. Only two hits. Alright. I think Virgo is about to start running. He's finding his spot. Yup. Punish? Ah, oh, he missed it. He missed the punish. Was it in time? Good tech uh, hit. You know, Ooh. Oh my god, super to interrupt whatever was about to happen. Right, Sabertooth back on screen. Maybe we're gonna see the infinite? Maybe not. Virgo needs to do the infinite. Um, well, it's a little too late on actually getting the rhythm. And, and now we've lost uh this is a bad position. Well, never mind, he's dead. Well we didn't get to see anything with bison. No, we really did it. <clears throat> and I feel like that's kind of the uh the problem with Dictator though, right? Where it's like when you get the chance to run away, that's effective, but will you get the chance to run away? <laughs> He has to run away. If he's gonna play Bison, he has to run a lot. He definitely has to run a lot. He really needs to stay in flight state in order to really, um, you know, pretty much get the opponent to like try to chase and then catch him with a reactable normal into super. But we're not seeing Bison anymore. We are switching to, Z to Zangief. So yeah. probably gonna see the Zangief Lariat infinite, hopefully. <clears throat> I mean, we're, lo we're, we're looking for it. We're definitely, we're definitely fishing for mm -hmm. it. Okay, that was a really good throw by Moon Master. Tried to actually get uh, a, co a conversion off of that, but did not quite get it. Yep. Good push block from Moon Master. Keeping Zangief out. Lots of jumps from Virgo, but we all know what, what a throw. we want. Good with punish. Launcher. Air throw. Another one. All right, is this gonna kill? Well, I mean, I respect the uh, I respect the throw to make up for what might have been a drop. And Moonmaster takes that third game very, very um, confident, very convincing. And convincing. Yeah. <clears throat> Dill Pickle is definitely sticking to his tried and true as well. This is grand finals. Dill Pickle on the winner's side, Moon Master on the loser's side. Moon Master has to win three out of five twice. Yeah. 
Which, you know, sounds like a really rough place to be in, but anything can happen in this game. Exactly. And Moon Master, you know, something, you know, mentality-wise when it comes to being in tournaments, I think something that's a bit underrated is when you go into Grand Finals from the side, you got momentum on your side. You're, you're warm. The person who was in Grands was waiting for you. They're starting off cold. So I think that's like kind of an underrated aspect. You know, Moo Master's condition, I think. Right. Ooh, did not get a punish with that uh, Alpha Counter. And we get a lot of, getting some rush down from Hill Pickle. And Moo Master trying to answer back with Jumping Pierces. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Trying to uh, do some mix. Some, um... Pretty easy mix-ups uh, against Doug. Oh, he got hit. Oh my god. Random super. Works every time. Room Master's uh, rate on just mashing super has been ridiculous. It's always worked. Good punish on the raw tag. Okay. Push blocking all the Sonic Blades just so he can actually try to keep Charlie close to the corner. Probably will set him up for an infinite and decides to do it. And one hit is all we need from either of these characters, really. <clears throat> yeah, they both definitely have that opportunity. Oh, well, well, no longer of... Cyclops does. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be. Oh, this might be it. Super? Uh, I could have went for a oh, second. Oh, it dropped! One. Oh my, that was a Hail Mary and it just worked. <laughs> Moon Master, Moon Master taking the first game. game. Yeah. Now I wonder if we see Dill Pickle. Um, if we'll see Dill Pickle like choose Chun Li again. Because we've been seeing the Chun quite a bit. He's like he does. He is picking Chun Li and mm -hmm. Saber Tooth. Oh man, Saber Tooth has been here all night. <laughs> James Chan will never be happy. <laughs> don't show, don't show him this vibe, guys. Please don't show him this vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing a lot of jump heavy punches from New Master, and you know what? Yeah, that's just kind of how a lot of characters are in this game. A lot of the bigger ones, they just press, you know, they just jump around and press uh, heavy punch and call it a day. It's fun. Good air throw. I mean, it, it attributes to not only just trying to swing for the fences and get a character out of your face, especially a character as much heavy as Chun Li, but it's also good to just throw that meter too, to which Juggernaut needs and gets max damage on Dill Pick. Good, good switch that. by Dill Pickle. That God, was that was a that was, that was a very was very clutch, very clutch, very smart, very very much needed that needed Chun Li out of there. Genius plays. All right. Cool. These air blade kicks are really really showing up now. <clears throat> Very nice. A okay, good push block by Moon Master, trying to get Saber Tooth off of him. Oh man. Could actually like did a reset throw there. There we go. We got the throw. We got the combos, but he oh, drops it. it. Oh, not in Very nice super. Good bye, oh. Chun Lu. All right, Saber Tooth. Okay, bro. Super. We're swinging into Super. That might be a dead jug. That is a dead jug. All right, Charlie. Last chance here. Oh, maybe not so much of a last chance. Oh, unfortunate trade. Moomaster that was a trade on launcher game. too. That was a trade on launcher too. Moomaster looking to reset without any hassle. Again, like you need to like if you can at least trade with with Sabretooth, 
like that still so much works in your favor because Sabertooth now has to work twice as hard as to get in because now you're giving some space to actually try to run away from him. So it, it really does work out for, uh, for Moon Master in the end. All right, game three. Moon Master is at game point, or rather match point, uh, to be able to reset the bracket. See if Dill Pickle can put a stop to that. And, oh, well, we have Chun-Li Juggernaut now. So I think Chun-Li is going to be staying on the team. But Juggernaut, you know, replacing Sabretooth here. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, ooh, super good stuff. All right. Lots of damage. What's the mix? Uh, he went <laughs> low. Charlie just jumped out, but this is another super. Charlie. That's a dead Charlie. All right, Juggernaut time. Oh no! He, he almost saw it. Nice throw. Oh, got the tech hit though. They're both just swinging. That's what Juggernaut does best. He needs to swing. Yeah, he really needs to. Oh my god, look at the arrow! How many air throws? Look! Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's... That's guess we're getting full gone. Into the super. No, it wins! What Dill the hell happened there? Dill Pickle. <laughs> wasn't close enough. Definitely wasn't close enough. Ironically, uh, the match actually could have ended just a bit earlier if uh, New Master <coughs> went for the uh, the um, OTV. Um, after he did uh, the super. Oh, um, especially with how big. Oh, here we go. We're getting our first storm of the night. Ironically, in grand finals, it should be good. Are we going to storm jugs? Oh, we're going Storm Jugs. I'm surprised we're switching out. I'm surprised we're switching out Charlie almost. Oh, never mind. I see where we're picking Storm. Yep, time to run away, build that meter. Twitch Cheer 3. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, okay. No, never mind. Storm's gone. Goodbye. Yep. All right. Um. Cat, well, that this, happened. Cat, <laughs> that um, definitely happened. Let's go. Okay, no I was gonna say, storm. let's hope it's not a perfect. Um, yeah. Okay, give me some some extensions there. Right. New Master has the opportunity to kind of clutch here. You know, we got you know we got a three bar juggernaut. Oh, but that's bad. Alright, we're guess we're the movement. We're the movement by Dill Pickle. Getting the instant overhead stomp. Yep. Oh, I think he tried to go for the stomp. Super. Yeah, super into his own. And Dill Pickle is now up. And making it. Or not, he's not even up. It's even. 2 2. My bad. Dill Pickle can definitely close it out now. It's match point on his side. Yeah, and Bill Pickle is going to be sticking to the team. Moon Master can go back to Charlie any time. Oh, absolutely. And yeah, yeah, okay. Here we go. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Same as it ever was. Alright, good throw from Moon Master. Amazing flash here. Nice launch by Dill Pickle. Oh, oh misses a confirm. Got it. Very, very rare. That Kachi medium kick, super. All right. Very good confirm. What's the mix? He's been hitting with those uh, those overheads, those split overheads, like all night. Ooh, that's gonna be punishing the rock tag. All right, we're gonna. We re- like... 
I think we both are wanting to see that, that Chun Li stomp is hit. I can't lie, right? Like... <laughs> Yo, if it happens, it's gonna get crazy. Ah, oh, that's a super. Mm. Oh, wow. Super, yep. Got it very early, it's gonna kill. See what Chun right, can Last do. legs. Last legs for Moon Master here. Alright, good super. Just get Juggernaut off of you. And this is scary. For both people. He has just enough kill. meter. Juggernaut can just go with one hit. <gasps> and Dill Pickle is your champion. Congratulations on uh, making it to the end of the tournament without dropping a set.